A question many people ask themselves is, should I leave my job or should I stay? If you've been asking yourself this question too, then I'm gonna explain in this video what to do. Welcome, I'm Mae Bush, former COO for Morgan Stanley Europe, and now an executive coach, speaker, author, and founder of Career Mastery. I help professionals overcome obstacles so that they can succeed in their careers faster and more easily. Now, one of my wonderful subscribers recently asked me this question. Is it time to leave my job? May, I love the company I work with and I can do my job with ease, but I've been in the same role for 10 years. I upskilled during the past two years, but feel I need to leave in order to use this new skill set. I can't see any promotions ahead and I feel unsupported at work. Is it time to leave? Well, the decision to leave is such a personal one and it's one that only you can make. But that being said, I want to share with you three ways to help you decide. The first is to create a decision filter. What you do is you list out the criteria you have for your job and put them in order of importance. And then you give them a rating, give them each a score, either uh, from one to 10, one being low, 10 being high, or the scale I really like is minus one to plus four. That way, when you start seeing, if you start seeing those zeros and minus signs, then it makes the conclusion really, really clear and obvious. Then you do the math, add up all the scores across all the criteria, and you compare that to the maximum score if you had the ideal job, if all of them were fours or if all of them were tens, depending on what scale you're using. And once you see the score, you're gonna have this immediate reaction and just gauge how you feel about it. Then the second thing you do is negotiate for what you need. When you do the decision filter, it's going to show you where there are gaps between your current job and the ideal job. And that's where you identify what things would need to be true, what would need to change in order for you to uh, see staying as a definite yes. Once you've identified that, you wanna go and have conversations and ask for what you want, ask for what you need. As my uh, office mate said back in the day when I was facing the same question, she said, May, you are not allowed to leave until you've tried to make it work on your terms and found that you can't. So make sure you're having those conversations and having them with the right people. Start with your boss, but hey, maybe your boss is not the decision maker. So make sure you're also talking to people who can do something about it who are influencers or ideally decision makers. Then step three is to trust your gut. Nine times out of 10, you know the answer already, but hey, change is scary. But as the saying goes, there's no such thing as a hell maybe. So if it's not a hell yes, then it's a hell no. When it comes to deciding then whether to leave your job or stay in it, remember to use your decision filter, negotiate for what you want and need, and trust your gut. Now, if you have a question about your career, click the Ask May link on this video or in the description and ask away. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it and it would help out our channel. And make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos because they're gonna help you advance in your career faster and more easily. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.